Hey there, so what is feminine energy when it comes to dating? So both men and women have masculine and feminine energy, but when it comes to dating, we women actually benefit greatly from being in our feminine energy around our men. So in this video, I want to show you how and what to do in order to be in your feminine energy and what that looks like when you go out on dates. So stay tuned. Hey, Lillian here, and I am a dating and relationship coach, and I help single women lean into their feminine energy so that they can attract their dream guy. Okay, so in basic terms, what is the feminine energy, right? And what is the masculine energy? So the feminine energy is the being, the masculine energy is the doer. And so when we say feminine energy, it's really like, think about it like, you know, the name energy, right? Is really your vibe. What kind of vibe are you giving out? So it has nothing to do with how you look, right? Like right now I'm wearing this pink sweater and, you know, I have like um, earrings and I have like a little, you know, ring and my nails are done and all of that. And you may think that's feminine, but it's really not right? It's not how I look. It's the vibe that I'm giving you. So if we were on a date, you may look at me and yeah, that's attractive. You know, those, those are feminine, you know, looks, but the way I act and I behave around you and the energy that you feel from me, that's what will either attract you or repel you. So when you are on a date with a man, even if you are like super attractive and you're all dressed up and you're wearing like, you know, super feminine, you know, um, clothing and you feel very feminine, if your vibe is very masculine, he's not going to be as attracted to you at the end, right? He may see you and be like, wow. But then once he sits with you, he talks to you and he feels your vibe. And if you are too much in your masculine energy, that's going to repel him especially if he's an alpha male man, that is going to repel him and he's not gonna ask you for a second date. So what does it look like then um, to date in your feminine energy? How do you act and behave being in your feminine energy while you're on a date? Okay, so what does feminine energy look like when you are dating? Okay, the number one thing that makes you, it makes your vibe feel more feminine is that you lean back. You lean back physically and you lean back emotionally. So you are not the one, you're not the doer. So you're not initiating calls, you're not initiating text messages, you're not initiating dates. He is the one who's doing all of that and you're the receptive one. You're the one that is allowing this to happen. You're, you're the one who is either accepting or rejecting. And so in that way, you allow him to be in, her, in his masculine energy while you are in your feminine energy. And that is very attractive to a man. Okay, so the second thing that when you are in your feminine energy when dating, it means that you are not attached to an outcome or a destination. So you are not the one moving the relationship forward. You let him move the relationship forward, right? And you're not at home thinking and analyzing every single thing that happened during your date. You're just allowing the experience to just, you know, you're just experiencing it. You are just expressing how you, you know, how it felt to you, but you're not over analyzing it. You're not thinking about it. You're not trying to move this relationship to where is it that you want it to go to. You allow him to do that for you. So that is very feminine when you're not really attached to, you know, the outcome or the destination. I mean, you may, obviously women, we want to get married and we have, we want that commitment or we want that family and all of those things, but we don't attach it to one man. You know, we feel like we will find that great man, we'll find the right man. And with that person, then it will just flow, right? Just believing that when you do find the right man, it will just flow and you don't have to do anything. You can just be at peace with yourself. You can just be at peace with the situation and be okay with going different directions. Because at the end of the day, one, once you find the right man, it will just flow and he will get you there. He will get you to that destination. And that is feminine energy. That is you being in your feminine energy. You're present and you are connected to your feelings. 
that is another way of being in your feminine energy when dating. So when you are with him on a date or you're just hanging out with them with him, you are very much connected to your feelings and you're very much in that moment. You are in the now. You're not thinking and overanalyzing about what's going on. You are just there really experiencing the moment and really just getting into your like gut feeling as to how it feels how it feels to be with this guy and this is you know all about your what, what's going on inside about your feelings so you keep an open heart you express how you feel and you're not up in your head just you know overthinking over analyzing because that is also repelling when you're when you have an open heart when you're expressing how you feel he's gonna want to connect with you even more so that is a very feminine energy um, woman who is able to open up her heart, who is vulnerable and is able to express her feelings. Okay, so another way of being in your feminine energy when dating is that you don't overgive or you don't overdo. So what happens normally is that we want to, you know, on our second, third date, we want to cook for him because we want to win his heart or we want to, you know, drive in places or we want to like, you know, be there for him and we overdo and we overgive, right? And so the man for him in the beginning, he's going to be like, oh, this is great. But then afterwards, he's going to start feeling that, you know, he's not, he's not going to feel like a man because he's going to feel like there's something missing in the relationship and he may not even know it like he doesn't know it like you know consciously what it is but he feels it that this is not right that this doesn't feel good because being the masculine he's gonna want to do things for you and you have to you sort of have to allow that and unfortunately right now what's going on in like modern dating is that women we are thinking too much like a man we are too masculine we want to be doing instead of just you know leaning back and receive be a grateful receiver be happy with what he's able to give us and so if you are going on these dates try doing those things of like just leaning back letting him do his thing and that is a great way of really finding out how he feels about you right because if you're not the one moving the relationship forward he is gonna have to do it for the two of you if he actually wants to be in this relationship if not then that allows you and it opens up the door for you to date other men and to you know find the right guy for you so it's a win-win situation in a sense because you're not you know wasting your time or investing your time in someone who at the end won't stay it's not the one for you so the right guy is going to do all those things for you you just have to allow him to Okay, I hope you guys liked this video and if you did, please like it below and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like always, share my videos with other single women out there and we'll talk on the next one. Okay, bye. Love you.